Hey there, it's Mark from Lessons Learned. In this video, I'm doing a product demo of the Champion 2710 wood splitter. First, I'm just going to show some different views of the wood splitter, a few details about it. And then I'm going to actually um, start it up and split some wood both horizontally and vertically so you can see it in action. Enjoy. Depending on where you get your wood splitter, you may have to add the engine oil as well as the hydraulic oil. And in my case, there was like a warning tag letting you know that those fluids had not been added yet, so you didn't try to use it without first adding the fluids. Moving the splitter is not very difficult. I find myself grabbing the handle made for lifting it as well as the hitch and uh, just walking along slowly with it to move it. I found it to be very easy to start, to set the choke, give it a pull. It usually starts on the first pull and then you just back the choke off. Splitting wood can be really hard work sometimes, especially when you have to load the wood or pick up the wood multiple times. So I find it very handy to have the tractor bucket close by if you can. Um, you know, you can use your truck or you can use a cart too, but having something to put that wood in right away off the splitter makes it so much easier to uh, not have to handle it so many times. You know you're going to have to then load it and stack it somewhere probably unless you can split it right where you stack it but uh, I'm sure you find a lot of you know, handy ways to cut down on the work feel free to share any comments if you like
Like most splitters, you can easily change positions to go vertical. You just remove that pin and pivot it to stand up. This is part of a tree I cut on my mom's property. It was dying and part of the center of the larger part it hollowed out. Um, but I also cut a large tree on my own property, several of them recently, and used the splitter. And one of those trees, the bottom part of the tree, the log rounds were as big across as those yellow support plates you see on the splitter. They span from one side to the other, and it didn't have any trouble splitting those logs either. So, so far the splitters worked very well for me.
I found over the last several years that I ended up renting a wood splitter several times. Each time I rented it, it cost me like a little over $100 to rent it for a day. And I only had it that day. I had to get everything done that day and get it back or pay another day. So I figured that uh, it made sense to buy one. You know, if I'd rented one one or two more times, I'd, I would have ended up paying the full price for buying one. And now I can use it whenever I need to use it and don't have the time limitation. I find it so much more convenient to not have to go get it and take it back. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave comments, give us a thumbs up, and any suggestions you'd like to make. And if you'd like, subscribe to our channel. Thanks.